Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to manage vendor price list in Odoo. Vendor price list is an interesting and a very important function or a feature in purchase management module. The system allows you to set different price lists for same products for different vendors within the system. The benefit it gives you that while you are generating requests for quotations or purchase orders, the system would automatically be in position to fetch these prices. This is especially useful for large purchase teams where regular purchases are required and you do not want to indulge in multi-level approvals to save time. To do that, you can go to configuration section and open vendor price list. Now in this scenario, we can create price list for various products. To do that, you can click on create. You'll first choose the vendor for which you are creating the price list. I can define a unique product name of vendor if required. I'm choosing a product here for which I'm going to define the price. The fields which are blue in color are mandatory without which you will not be able to save the records. You can define your delivery time. This is the delivery time of the item when it is purchased from this particular vendor. You can, if you have a multi-company amount, you can choose for which company you are configuring this price list. Quantity, very important. This is a minimum order quantity, which when chosen would be placed automatically in the RFQ. We can start it with zero or one. You can also increase it as per your choice. The quantity which is entered here will be de facto default quantity once this particular product and vendor is selected. Let me choose two here. I'll define a particular price. I can also define the expiry or the validity of these uh, price list. And uh, once the, the, this particular price list will only be valid from these dates, start date and end date. After saving this <laughs> price list, it is possible to view this price list within the product also. So first, let's have a look at these prices from the product. I'm going to the product large cabinet. And within this product, I can see in the purchase menu, I can see all the prices associated with this product, particular product for different vendors. I can see for ready mat, there are two uh, prices for deco addict, wood corner, azure interior and so on. Uh, the one we added was for deco edit at this point of time and we have specified that the minimum order quantity would be 2. Now let's go ahead and create a purchase order and see if these products, uh, if this price is fetched automatically. I'm going to choose the vendor. The company is San Francisco. I'm going to choose the item. Now you can see that when I'm selecting the product, the system is not fetching the name large cabinet. Instead, it is fetching the name of the uh, uh, name of the product which vendor is using. Okay, just to remind you and take you there, I'll open this product from here. You can see large cabinet. It is also displaying the exact name for which deco, deco edit. So this is a very smooth transition here. The user will not even feel that there is a different name. Only he has to remember what is the name of the product being used for this particular vendor. You can see that the system has automatically fetched quantity too. Now you are at will to modify this quantity and the price as per your choice. Apply the taxes of your choice and create your purchase orders. Okay. If I check my price list, group it by product. Our product was large cabinet for deco addict. You can see that the prices still remains the same. Okay, so no difference. 
in this way you will be able to define multiple uh, price lists within the system it is definitely possible to customize this further in terms of locations in terms of uh, approval if required or not in terms of uh, a minimum purchase order quantity or even the lead time that can vary based on the quantity and so on thank you very much like share and subscribe our youtube channel videos and you will be getting a lot and yes don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much stay tuned